Okay, welcome back to Space Engineers. We had a uh, user request for to go over some of the uh, mods, and uh, so I'm going to do it real quick. That some of the mods I use, um, I got I use a lot of mods actually. Um, this game is made a little bit better by each mod, depending on how you use them. Um, so. Uh, I, I find I'm covering them a little bit more as as I use them. Uh, so this is the list of all the mods I'm using right now. I'm constantly looking at the Steam Workshop uh, on adding new ones. So the endless cargo endless cargo ships are a modified version of the cargo ships that the vanilla game comes with. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Sage, uh, is also a modder, and he's created these industrial thrusters. They are uh, a magnitude over the uh, standard thrusters in the game. Uh, and to balance that out, they use a magnitude more of supplies to build them. We have uh, lots of them. Uh, here's a list. I'm, I mean, I'm taking my time showing this list so you can uh, pause the video if you wanted and uh, go over them. Like I said, as we come across different ones in the game, we'll uh, talk about them a little bit more in depth as we go. So, all right. So next stop, we will get back in the game. All right, so uh, in here, yep, here it goes. Um, as for you guys, wow. That was pretty cool rendering. Uh, I asked for you guys to give me ideas for naming of the truck and for the uh, alpha bases and whatnot for our home base. Uh, the first uh, viewer comment I've gotten was from uh, Master JD, was also the one who commented about uh, showing the mods. Um, for some reason, this ship is supposed to despawn when I leave the game. So. Uh, I just loaded in the game and it's still here. So uh, what we're gonna do to make sure we don't lose all these resources is since we have power down here now, we are going to relocate our uh, production facilities and medical bay down onto the small little base there. And uh, we're gonna rebuild the truck um, and we'll give you guys a chance to actually rename it to something else. If you, just, again, don't see that the term truck is appropriate in space um, we have this thing over here yet to use as well probably gonna end up uh, cutting that down to a smaller ship like I said that's way too massive for the endeavors we have at this level of the game that's definitely a really cool multiplayer ship though you know I covered that pretty heavily how much I uh, like that ship in previous let's play so um Let's uh, get some health back. I smacked my head on something earlier. Let's see here. And, uh, light courier, huh? You're not too shiny for me, sorry. So, all right, let's re relocate this. Start with that. So the reason we're wanting to do this is uh, if we lost the uh, <clears throat> spawn ship, then we would lose our ability to uh, come back to this location. And uh, kind of uh, made this home. You know, it's a little cozy little nook. And uh, we want to be able to get back to here. <clears throat> and there it is, it's up and running. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so now we have a spawn. We can permanently spawn here at uh, Alpha Base. And um, 
next step we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move probably this cargo container. There's not a lot in it. Okay. That was a small cargo container, so we'll just put another one down for now. We definitely want to go to a larger cargo container so we can uh, be a little bit more efficient on our space. So, okay, there's that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll take everything out of this assembler and refinery. Everything we can carry at least. And uh, we'll move them all down to that uh, cargo container. The game of clicking. Um, no, really. This is a necessity. We have to do this here. All right, so. We we'll take almost all of this uranium. Leave one behind. Oh wait, I did that backwards. My bad. Okay, so everything on this ship is empty. Oops, wrong way. So now, um, let's see here, if we, that is tied to that, so if we would have cut the refinery loose, then this would have floated away. So now we're going to come over here and put a refinery down. a beast of a machine. All right, so we put that there. Not very uh, efficient, and uh, we'll cover why it's not efficient here in a second. But uh, poor planning and whatnot. Um, Okay, let's get that refinery up and running. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Welding simulator 2015. So that's our assembly. Make sure nothing was flying away when we cut that loose. All right, so I could get fortunate and there'd be a door right. Oh, I did. Okay, so there's a door right there. We'll be able to connect there. Um, yeah, more on that here in a second. Um, assembler. We're going to put this here and rotate it. Not that way. That way. Okay, so as we talked about in previous episodes, these doors are oh, it's upside down. Hmm. Does it really matter? But yeah, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. It's nothing more than aesthetics. But you now, when you're standing on a platform, you kind of wish it was correct. So. Thusly.
Doo -doo -doo. All right, and the assembler's online. Cool. So now we have these tubes right here. We can connect these two together, and those two will be rocking. Problem is, though, our small storage container is nowhere near a location to properly connect up. Um, so we'll probably build another one, or actually no, we're, we'll just upgrade to it something better, and then we'll tie that in later. So that is that. So now we're going to go ahead and let's see. We have a reactor here. Where do we go? Um, let's see. Grab a generator. We need to move that over there. That's going to take a few trips. Oh, OK. I was wrong. I thought uh, the components were bigger than that mass-wise. So let's throw down a gravity generator. This will come in handy uh, when we start putting our mining down. Um, just to make life easier, I try to face the control panels forward. So every once in a while, you're going to need to get access to a control panel and uh, is make them just like that. Hey, okay, facing the control panel right now. Uh, being able to get into a control panel like that is pretty convenient. Um, <clears throat> such as to turn down gravity usage, like so. So you conserve energy, so we're not using so much of our uranium. And speaking of energy, let's top it off, shall we? Closer. A little bit closer. And now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, since we're closer, we're going to start salvaging more and more of the ship. And pretty much, we're going to tear the ship completely apart, <clears throat> take everything off the ship, and we're going to put it in that small cargo container. Um, yeah, so here we go. Let's start tearing it down. Yeah. And uh, as I'm still new to this, I have not figured out how yet to do uh, time lapses and whatnot. So, so get you guys get to bear with me and do the grinding. Some of you guys can comment on below. Do you guys want that kind of stuff where you? where I'm doing stuff like this, grinding over and over again. Do you want sped up uh, montages? Um, or do you want to see all this and hear me ramble on for, you know, 20 minutes? It's up to you guys. Um, I'm flexible like that. I can work this channel to be, you know, what we all want it to be. The whole point of me doing this is to share my game content, you know, I do a lot of gaming outside of work, and uh, just but most of my off time is gaming. So to be able to share it with you guys and get feedback from you guys of what you guys like and where we can go with things is pretty important. So also, I like being able to interact with the uh, you guys, the viewers. You know, it's. Out of all the YouTube channels I watched, you know, uh, it's pretty cool to see interaction between the viewers and uh, and the guys posting the videos. You know, a lot of them ask for you know suggestions like names and stuff like that, and it's where I get it from. And 
it continues to keep you guys interested and you know is, is my ship name gonna get picked you know kind of thing so <clears throat> I'd like to see a point where I can get enough subscribers to where I can possibly even do like some contests you know give some games away um, maybe even games like we're playing like Steam or uh, my other seven days to die um, you know guys come and check it out and leave comments and stuff and that's the kind of stuff you want to see me do and and be a part of and that's where we'll go with it so we're gonna to continue to just tear this all apart so the cool part about doing this is is um, I plan on rebuilding the truck as a small ship um, oh okay so a oh, little derailing there um, if you disconnect things, they can go random directions. So you really need to be careful on how you're disassembling stuff. Uh, so important things are usually better to do first, like uh, gyroscopes and nuclear reactors and stuff like that. Because one, they take longer to disassemble, and two, they have more uh, rare components inside them that you're gonna want later. So uh, disassemble the, the more rare and complicated parts first and then go to the generic stuff like the steel blocks like that because steel blocks they just have some steel plates in them and the second most abundant thing in the game is iron so steel plates are easy to come by things like uranium and nickel platinum not so much so find those rare items first salvage those first oh, no 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 i want my welder okay we are moving along here so it's going to get to a point to where <clears throat> the mass of the ship is going to get light enough to where when I bump into it I can actually push it and send it off in a random direction it's where things get interesting um, cumbersome and whatnot and uh, we're gonna eventually you'll see it happen so what you notice in my bottom left hand corner my volume is at 39991 so what ends up happening is is you can continue to grind on a part, but the pieces fall into space and will float away. Not very efficient when you're trying to salvage parts. So uh, yeah, you guys will see me bump into things and <clears throat> send them in a, a tirade of directions. And oh, there it goes. You saw the pop apart. So those are two separate sections now. And. Uh, if I bump this, it'll go flying that way. So I'm more concerned about the thruster. So I'm going to come over here to the other side. Ooh, almost hit it. That's a lot of components. Um, we'll definitely be able to build a, uh, a replacement to the truck. So... All right, so uh, I'm gonna hold here one second. All right, we're back. And um, yeah, I had to go take care of something real quick and a uh, small intermission. You guys won't notice though. And I was just back in time just to uh, get my health up. Do, 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 do. All right, and 100%. Let's get this thing broke down. And uh, we can get the floor plan or a blueprint or, well, I'm not gonna use the term blueprint because, well, they just added those to the game. So or we use the term blueprint, we're gonna use the term blueprint. So we'll get the, uh, the floor plan, the gist of where we're gonna be going with our new little mini ship.
and uh, then we'll call the episode here. Um, I uh, uploaded a bunch of Seven Days to Die videos, and uh, or a couple, I should say, not a bunch. Um, so, as the channel's just starting out, you, you know, I'm going to get up as much content as I can as quickly as I can, so I can, you know, get some viewer base. So you guys have some content to watch and have an idea of what direction I'm headed. And then from there, you know, I'm going to try to get it into a more stable, you know, like uh, a video a day or two videos a day kind of thing. So you guys can, you guys have content, you know, oh, there it goes, floating off in the distance. Ooh, caught it. So um, we'll continue to put up videos, just uh, not at the rate I did this weekend. Um, you know, I put up like three or four hours worth of content and between compressing and everything else it takes quite a bit of time um, new to this I'll get a routine going and and uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know what you do and don't like about my routine um, and just let me know down below and then we can just go from there longer videos shorter videos more often um, yeah Okay, so there's some energy. Now let's build a ship. Uh, we need some basic components. And let's see here. Let's grab some steel plates. That should be good now. New small ship. Construction components needed. So you saw that turn from red to green. That means that uh, you can actually build that now. You have the one base component required to make it. Okay, so now we're gonna go with, uh, <clears throat> since this is gonna be an exploration ship, kind of like a mining ship, I think we're gonna go with uh, actually putting down a um, an actual mining ship, actually make it into a mining ship so we can go out and find those rare materials that we don't have here on this rock and bring them back to our refinery so uh, when you're building a mining ship one of the things that's pretty key is mass so we're going to use heavy blocks because well they're heavy and what will end up happening is is <laughs> you're going to make a ship and it will end up start shaking itself apart and that tends to be bothersome and i'm just going to kind of play around with an idea I've got in my head on how I want the ship to look and a little lag spike there, wow. Um, whoa, I almost took that block away, that would have been bad. Um, yeah, if I would have taken this block away, it would have separated and flowed out off and that's not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to do something like this. Then, so that's that. And we have uh, these conveyor tubes, and uh, what they can do is transfer items from one location to another, from one piece of equipment to another. Interior build plates. Okay. Do we have any of those? We do. All right. So I'll put that like that. Put another one here because uh, how I want to use. So then we're gonna rotate these parts here, like so, like so, like so. No idea if this foot uh, print is gonna work or not. So here's what a mining drill looks like. Pretty nasty looking once they're up and running. And uh, hmm, what if I could put three? Probably not, but it's worth a shot. No, it has to be one more over. Okay. So I'm going to go with that anyway. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I like it. Um, in all actuality, I'm going to change this. Um, I'm just looking at... 
So we know that the, the drill, the white part you see there, um, the widest part of the drill is actually wide enough to take in account the drill head. So if we make this here instead, then we will be accommodating for that much of the ship. Um, so as long as we can stay within that, we can actually drill through a rock and not collide. So as long as we keep our ship three blocks thin, then uh, we will be okay. It should be for the most part uh, obtainable goal. Okay, so now where do we want to do next? Um, we're gonna come back here. Because I thought I was gonna disconnect that and I was wrong. So, <clears throat> next up I want to put in a container. So we have a place to store our goods. So there's two styles of doors on a container. There's a large door like that and somewhere, a small door. So the small door is, well, for smaller items such as ore and the like. The bigger doors are for um, bigger components uh, to connect to as well as transfer those type of materials. And that's being a pain, so we're gonna do that. All right, so our goal of keeping it within that height restriction is continuing to go forward. And that block there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna map out this a little bit. All right, so <clears throat> that's gonna be the extents, the outside edge of our ship. So we don't want to extend past that as the drills will begin to knock, or the rock will begin to knock off edges of the ship as we drill. So we're going to put this like so. And then the next one will be a connector. Like so. I'm sure you guys will uh, see how it's starting to take shape here. And um, these are actually not needed because we're connecting to the back and not to the front. So now what we're gonna do here is connect up the ship. So I get some strength. Um, there is some uh, rigidity uh, checks in the game. Uh, parts will flop and stress gets kind of passed from one item to the next and so alleviating those points of weakness are a, a, it's a very good thing to do um, for example uh, <clears throat> these tubes are not the strongest pieces in the world you do not want to rely on those for a heavy drill to be bouncing around on those tubes they will break Okay, so there's our drills in place, that's in place. So now let's come over here, since we got all that connected out around the outside, we're gonna do something kind of weird and uh, we're gonna carve a hole. And hopefully our cockpit will fit down inside of there. Let's see here, there it is, cockpit. Let's put you here. Cool, that's what I was going for. Take that out. So what'll end up happening is we'll be able to see between our drills where we're working on. We'll be low enough obstruction to where the drills are gonna compensate and cut us a hole. All right. So now 
We need to... I just did exactly what I was trying not to do. I just broke the foot away of the ship from that. So now if I bump this, it's going to go flying off into space. <laughs> Good times right there. Um, this really sucks. So that means I have to build a certain number of components to stop it from continuing going someplace it doesn't need to be. So I need thrusters, gyroscope, and power. Um, we're just going to throw power on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just for the sake of it being on the ship. And the same thing is going to go with these. So I need large steel tubes for those. Alright, so we need a thruster going in every direction. So pull in there for fun. In there for fun. In there. Oh yeah. So that's left, right, front, back, and topsy turvy. Okay, so we need some thruster components. And we're gonna need some reactor components. I don't remember how many. All right, we'll stick with that. No, don't. Whoa. I think I'm lucky enough that its mass is greater than mine. I think that's uh, where that came down to is just pure luck. Or I just caught it just right and it didn't do anything at all. All right, so. Okay, so. So front, back, left, right, up and down. So all six axes. Now I need power. Metal grid motor computers, okay. Metal grid motor computers. Okay, so now let's get this cockpit online. Once we get the cockpit online, we'll actually be able to pilot this ship as well, so. Um, wasn't even paying attention to what I needed. Uh, displays, uh, I think it was computers. And bulletproof glass, is there any bulletproof glass? There is. But our bags are, or our inventory is full. Okay. Okay, so it's good enough for now. Uh, the ship is online. Your account. Uh, it is not online because it has no uranium. Okay. I'm missing one more component, the uh, gyroscope, but um, this will stop the ship from floating away. So this is enough for that. So that was crap. I wasn't even attached to the ship anymore. That's why I detached it. Okay, so now if we push the ship, it won't go anywhere. So that's a good thing. And we can hop in and Get some juice. So, this is the start of our ship here. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be the truck anymore. Um, maybe. Maybe it still could be called the truck. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you guys help me out here. Drop me a line and uh, tell me what you think. Should this still be deemed the truck? <clears throat> um, uh, 
Ah, missed. There we go. So, uh, yeah, should we still call this the truck? Um, so yeah, so we're uh, we're gonna try to keep this profile. These motors are just temporarily in place. Um, I'd like to raise this up a little bit higher uh, so I can get underneath it and work. So we can. Okay, make sure it stops before you get out of there. Rudimentary ships are bad at just doing randomness. Um, so we're gonna go into. Uh, fill in this here so have that connection point all the way across let's go with heavy sloped armor whoa a little overzealous on the clicking and yeah I'll just throw one of those in there too that's that. All right. So what we'll do is we'll throw. Um, I already have those on our bar. Now I'm gonna throw one of these in here. We'll throw that there. So I think that's a better spot for those two thrusters. So I I tore one down to build another. So I'll tear this one down now. Whoops. So now you're floating free. Okay, so. See where we're going with this, kind of streamlining it down. And this guy here needs to go over here now. Okay, we need some construction opponents. We are just about out of time for today. Um, get the basic blueprint, in, or uh, I said I was going to use that word, and I used it. Uh, get the basic design laid out, and uh, we're, we're making our way. So. So the big thing is to get it stable and secure and then go from there, which we're definitely taking care of that today. So we need to have thrusters for the forward, but they can't hit anything. Um, little caveat to thrusters is they cause damage. Um, certain blocks take a lot more damage than others. I'll give you an example of that here. Um, oh crap, guess what? I missed a thruster. And I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I was able to mute my microphone in time before I sneezed and blew out everybody's eardrums. Um, okay, so. Whew, got away from us there. Okay, so back inside. Now we can go down. There we go. So if you watch the platform below, actually we're not quite close enough yet to do harm to it. So here we are, nice flat and level. 
And if we watch the platform, ah, small thrusters are not be damaging those. Okay, so we can actually damage other parts from the thrust. So we have to be mindful of that. So if we put a, a jet or a thruster in the wrong location, it will actually damage other components on the ship. So. All right, so we're gonna try to put two of them right here. I think that will be safe enough to not damage our drills. Okay, so we need a couple more thruster components. We're gonna get that other thruster on here. Uh, and then we're going to build a gyroscope and then we'll be uh, done for this uh, episode for today. Um, where do we want to put our criticals? Hmm. Say so we put a gyro here and there. So gyroscope's already on our bar, okay. Steel plates and motors. All right. There we go. And construction components. So oh, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now uh, we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna drop in one of these there. Reason being. Now see how that where that door is? And do this. And now we're gonna do one more up from there. If I had uh, interior plates, I would at least. We are out of interior plates. Okay. So what we're gonna do for now. Build a reactor and put there. Like so. Now we're going to take and put some uranium inside of that reactor. we're going to do that. Um, how are we going to do that again? <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this hole right here. And there we go. And that'll turn green. There it is. So now those reactors are live. And I can take this one off. Like so. We can drop that little conveyor here we just had on the other side. Need some interior plates. Uh, iron. Interior plates. Come on, I know what you look like. There we go. There we go. Interior plates are cooking. I'll stale some of those. Thank you. Okay. And then we take eight. Nope. There. Boom. Now both our reactors are piped, plumbed in, 
and hot to trot. Okay. go that's the basics right there throw that uranium in there and it should find its way into maybe the other reactors there we go it's slowly pulling it from these into those three reactors so It'll automatically fill it in as it needs it. Um, doesn't shove it all in there and force feed it kind of thing. Um, so that's that. This is our, a great start to a ship. Um, it's not super fast. It doesn't really need to be. Uh, it does need more reactors. You notice there on the right, it said uh, power over usage. There we go, overload. Um, we do need to address that. We'll be needing to add more reactors. But uh, yeah, this is the basics of a ship. I mean, this is a pretty slick little vessel. Um, that'll be our view right there. Those two big motor heads are just chewing up rock like crazy. All right, so um, yeah, I'm, I, I don't think this is uh, <clears throat> the truck anymore. So we definitely need a name, so. All you uh, viewers out there, let's get some uh, comments in the YouTube comments below. And uh, let's get a new name for this. Uh, maybe we will build a truck later. Maybe it'll look like a truck. So, all right, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, hey, don't forget to go over and check out my uh, Seven Days to Die videos I'm posting up. Let me know how you like that content as well. Thanks for watching.